It's been two years in the making, and the first time Pablo Picasso's work has been featured in Izmir. Organizers say it provides a much-needed boost to the local art scene. Izmir has to reach its old higher leg. It was a center of art uh, for, for a century. And I have to give it back. Because you cannot have art only in one city. You see, it's, 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 you have to diversify. And uh, the people of Izmir are ready to learn, to, to get pleasure, but you have to offer them something. The pieces came from the Picasso Museum in Paris, but it took two years of meetings and convincing that this gallery was fit to exhibit the famous Spanish artist's work before this could happen. After traveling through several countries along the Mediterranean, Izmir is hosting the event's closing exhibition. It features a selection of works that reflect Picasso's interest in performing arts, such as bullfighting, the circus, and ballet. Who would think that uh, uh, Picasso was a, a ballet uh, fan? And who would make uh, a lot of design of dresses for that? And, uh, and, and very beautiful ones. So he was an incredible uh, person. The idea of the show is to be focused on something very specific, is the link of, with Picasso, with theater, with cinema, with spectacle, with art of the movement, like a total uh, work of art. I mean, painting, sculpture, drawings, every medium. And so it's very interesting because you have masterpieces like the Acrobat, which is behind me, but some drawings which were never displayed like the first time outside Paris. Since 2017, the Picasso Mediterranean Project has traveled to 70 important cultural institutions in countries along the Mediterranean. Of course, uh, we could have done Picasso and Montaigne, uh, Picasso and Brittany, Picasso and whatever, but really the geographical context of the work of Picasso, which is, by the way, universal, it's Mediterranean. Mediterranean, of course, uh, very easily link relationship with sun, with sea, but very more interesting, I think, relationship with antiquity and with the myths, uh, like the Minotaur and things like that. And of course, to be here in Izmir, when you know all the archaeological sites, it's very interesting. While there are iconic Picasso paintings here, the contact with original Picasso drawings is something the director thinks will resonate with art lovers alike. The drawings uh, will remind me the sentence of Picasso, who said, when I was five, I was a painter like Leonardo da Vinci, and I spent all my life to learn again how to draw like a child. And the hope is the Picasso name will draw younger audiences and serve as another step towards this city's art revival. Adel Halim, TRT World, Izmir.